your boy Chavez here and this is my girl Skitten and today we are here to take the awkward quiz. How awkward are you? I think I'm gonna take these glasses off because that's massively awkward. I look like a diva. So I guess I suppose that you can keep this on. So if we have enough yeah. time we're gonna both do the quiz but the last time we took a quiz I think you took it first. So we're gonna have you take so it first. So I'm gonna take it first this time and I like talking any goddamn way. We all know this. So Let's just get into it, y'all. So, how awkward are you? For the record, he's very awkward, regardless of the results. <laughs> I am not. Place. One of my biggest skills in life is actually turning possibly awkward situations into not awkward situations. But who caused those awkward situations in the first place? Mostly me. Yeah. Yep. Probably mostly me. But I also fix it, which makes it good. Right? Look at you. You're, just, you're such fucking losers, dude. What is this from? I know that girl's an actor. I don't know what this is from. I don't know. Is that that's a uh, a bloodhound though? No. That's a cute little dog, right? Is that a bloodhound or a basset hound? Do, do, do. There's a do, difference. Do, do, do. What are you? What are you? It's cute. I'm kitchy coochieing it. All right. Which one of these awkward yearbook <laughs> photos can you actually relate to? Are you fucking kidding me? Obviously, the one in the football jersey. And look, just because I played football didn't mean that I held the football in between my legs. Your crossed legs. Oh my god, these are all fucking cringy. You already know if it was me, it's the one with the cat. Yeah, it's definitely. you're definitely going to pick the one with the cat. Maybe I could be the mulleted Asian guy. You already know you are the black <laughs> football player. I have to be player. the black football player, but I'm mad. Have I ever gone to high five someone and not gotten Why? one as a turn? Oh, I'm supposed to. You're high -five supposed to you. high five me now, and it's funny because she didn't know that. Yeah, I've actually done that, and it's funny because I actually did it once during a football game after I scored a touchdown. They didn't high five. I you? went to go give our quarterback a high five, and he walked away from me, and I have it on camera. What did you do to him? I just walked off. It was embarrassing. But I'm it saying, was, what did you do to him to make him not want to high five you? I don't know. What this the, was your fault. No, well, he actually called the plays for our offense at the time, and he was on. He was our kicker. So he actually, we, we scored a touchdown. He was just walking to get the football to get ready for kickoff because he just he just wasn't paying attention. And I remember after he told me, he said, "You gotta act like you've been there before." That's what. <laughs> <laughs> that was his advice to me. It was only like my third touchdown ever in my life. And I was like, come on. Stop getting excited. Yeah, about that's what he was telling me. And then shortly after that, I moved to defense because they let me celebrate a hell of a lot more. Which awkward family would you disown first? Well, this one's just cute. That's adorable. Why are you staying so quiet? You don't have to be stoic the entire time. Look, when you're wearing the diva sunglasses, then take them you off. gotta act like a diva. What about this way? Dry humping each other in the photo. <laughs> I this think one. it obviously has to be the bottom right corner. The bottom right corner? No, dude, it's gotta be the monkey family. What? This is pretty cringy too with the, the t-shirts, dude. I think matching t-shirts isn't bad. That looks terrible. These people are look tacky. I'm gonna do the people humping each other. Denim on denim. That's the name of the photo. They have photo names? The family huddle. Awkward kiss. That's not even awkward. That's just cute. Monkeys. Hawaii shirt. <laughs> and goth. I'm gonna do the denim on denim, bro. I denim can't... on denim is always embarrassing. I disown the fuck out of them humping each other. That's crazy. You're meeting your favorite celebrity. How do you react? I keep my composure. This is the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get super nervous and stutter a bit, but I can't help it. I completely lose it and go into hot mess mode. <laughs> That's where like globbing comes from in anime conventions. You ever been to an anime convention? No. And the like the people, like they see somebody in a cosplay they like, they just basically go on like a full speed run and damn near tackle hug people. What on yeah, earth? Yeah, they call it globbing, I think. I feel like I would fight somebody. I feel like my fist would just come up. Dude, I just feel like, bah! It is so funny to watch. Um, I don't, who is my favorite celebrity? I don't even really know famous people. Um, you know who I did get to dance with? It's somebody yes. I love. I was gonna is say, you flipped Mad your Chad. 
I fucking, but he didn't know. So I guess I keep my composure because that's the moment I've been waiting you for. You did really because well. Because I kept my composure when I met Mad Chad. You just waited till you called me. And then I flipped out after I got on the phone. Yep, so there you go. That's what I do. But I got to dance with him for like an hour. So it was amazing. And then after we was done dancing, he was like, hey man, me and my girl about to head out. It was nice to meet you. I'll see you later. And he walked out and he didn't say bye to anybody else on the dance floor. It was awesome. I is tried. that you? Is, <laughs> is that, that you? you? I think it is. <laughs> Still like Trevor Noah. Oh, love him. You're on a first date. What is most likely to happen? Sex. Is that on here? Wow. Yeah, we hit it off and I score a second date. I'm pretty good. No, that's not. I spill my drink on him and her within a few seconds of meeting. Everything is obviously ruined. I randomly talk about bizarre things, like my pet rock collection, but they seem to be into it. All I'm gonna say is our first date consisted of me forgetting to tell you where we were supposed to go. And I got a second date! What? Remember? I forgot to tell you where the birthday party was That's gonna... not a date, that's a birthday. We'll tell that story later, but yeah, <laughs> the first time we met, she didn't give me the goddamn address for me to go to the place we're supposed to hang out at. But I Good got a job. second date. Good so. job, Jackie. What the fuck is going on? Who do you feel bad for most? This banana! <laughs> This bride, this girl lurking in the corner, oh my god! This dog, or Oprah Winfrey? Definitely the banana. Definitely the banana, by far the banana. That is so disturbing. Yep. Hey, you better watch my damn advertisement for Chavez Slovakia. You didn't give to that GoFundMe like those other great Chavez Slovakia citizens did, then you watch my damn advertisement while I skip this one. All right! <laughs> Which of the following random items are you most likely to own? A shake weight, <laughs> graphing calculator, which I actually like, I was gonna say I have one. baseball trading cards, Gross. Baseball is boring. a hair crimper, that shit's cringy as fuck, a Batman t what the fuck is wrong with a Batman t-shirt? Well, I mean, I own like two graphing calculators, so I'm just gonna go with graphing calculator. Um, well, it's not your quiz, Oh, skitten. I'm sorry, you're right, you're right, you right, you right. I'm gonna go with the Batman t-shirt, because I'm pretty sure they just mean superhero t-shirt, and I love the Flash, so let's go with that one. Is the word neato in your part of your- yeah, oh yeah it is. Hell yeah, I use neato all the time. If, if you're walking by your crush in the mall, what is most likely going to happen? You're gonna find the confidence to approach him or her and say hi. You're gonna run into the store to avoid him and her at all costs. We're gonna trip over an untied shoelace and wipe out in front of them. Good Lord Almighty, that's just as bad as it could possibly go. I'm gonna say I'm gonna find the confidence to approach them and say hi. Mostly because I think I'm hilarious. And they should need to talk to me. How's it going? You come to the mall often? You are not talking loud enough for anybody to hear you. <laughs> like, I like what you're doing there with your little voice, but nobody can hear you. How's it going? <laughs> you come to the mall often? Look, the person's not hard of hearing. Where's your crush, like, 80 years old? Look, you don't have to scream at them. I'm just saying, speak up a little bit louder. That's probably Skitten's problem. Which of these TV characters do you like the most? Well, I know which one Skitten likes the most. Which one? I'm not gonna say, because we're gonna save it for your video. Uh, I'm gonna go with this guy from Friends. Ross Geller? I don't know anything about Ross Geller, but... He's the ultimate fuckboy. Is he a fuckboy? Yeah. Oh, he's a fuckboy. Let's go with, uh, Jack. Jack sounds like a true... He's from 24. Boop. Boop. Boop, boop, what are you doing? Boop, boop. Why are you doing this? You don't have to do that 24 times? Boop, boop. Oh. Boop. <laughs> boop. No, you don't have to do it 24 boop. times. Boop, have you tell can you tell I've never seen the show? I have no idea. I don't fucking know. True or false, you have farted audibly in public and denied it. Wow. True. I've also blamed it on the person next to me. Kind of true, I farted audibly and just not said anything. False, that's foul. I've done it and just not said anything. Wow! In an elevator once, too. No, you didn't. I did. I did. In a group of people that I was going to study with for a test. Why would you ever? I didn't even say anything. I just stood there. Did anybody acknowledge Nobody it? acknowledged anything. Did anybody know it was you? I don't think anybody knew who it was, but everybody knew it was somebody, and everybody pretended like it wasn't them. <laughs> yep. I was there for that. Oh. <laughs> if you accidentally texted, 
IM'd or G chatted the wrong. Hell yeah. Yes, and it was the person I was talking about. Oops. <laughs> Damn. Oops. Never. I'm smarter than that. I typically use the internet to talk to strangers so it wouldn't matter. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, dude. A hell of fucking. I've done that. Were you a member of your high school marching band? That's a pretty interesting. I was a part of the orchestra. I don't know if that counts. Yes, and I loved every second of it. Yes, but not really by choice. LOL, good one. So that must be like it's a joke. But I was in I was an orchestra. Does that count in the same thing? That as makes you a nerd and also awkward. Yeah, so that, that counts. I feel like that counts. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure and it And you loved counts. it. And I loved it. I was I was first chair cellist. Fucking nerd. I played the cello for eight years. Fucking nerd. I even went to that when I was in high school. There was this like special thing you can go to for a weekend, basically, where you learn an entire performance in like three or four days. What the yeah, and it was like this French guy who came through to teach us. And what I really, this is how fucking broke we were. We couldn't afford the sheet music to, to print it out for me. So my teacher just assumed that nobody was going. So at the beginning of the month, she told me, hey, there's this thing going on. I don't know, I don't know if you want to go, but you're basically the only person that can sight read music, you know, and you're going to have to learn this stuff really quickly for the performance. Man, this gets really crazy, but I'm going to tell this whole story because this shit gets, gets nuts. Right before we get to the thing, I'm going to tell this story and then we're going to get to it because it's quick. But she couldn't afford the booklets. So I told her, yes, I want to go. But because she couldn't afford the booklets, she just didn't give me the music. And I had like a whole month to get the music. So I showed up thinking that everybody was going to be learning it like through sight reading and just studying it over the weekend. And then I realized it was like six acts long for the first piece we were doing. And people have been practicing this thing for like a month long on their off time. And I showed up and I was, I had, you audition before you go. So I was second chair and I had no idea what the music was. Oh my God. <laughs> These two brothers were sixth and seventh chair. And I went to go sit next to them and they're playing like concertos and shit like by heart and yeah. duets just in practice to like tune their instruments and shit. And I was like, hey man, so uh, you guys feel like teaching me this music? And they were like, you don't know. I was like, yeah. So I thought one of y'all go be second chair for today while the other one of you takes me in the back and they taught me like we spent the whole first session me just learning the music instead of learning what he wanted us to do and all of his cues and Holy stuff. Holy crap. And uh, my cello actually broke on the second day. Ah! And I cried for like two hours. I just sat around and cried outside because my cello, the fingerboard popped off. And you have to go get it repaired. You can't just, you know, you can't just glue it on and play with it. You have to let it sit and everything. The guy was actually running late. And so the French guy, he pulls up in his car and I'm just sitting outside because I pulled up my thing to like kind of practice on a rock, kind of like while I waited, right? And he pulls up in his car and I'm just like weeping, right? I'm crying, right? And I was like, I'm done. I was like, the performance is tomorrow. My cello's broken. I can't afford to rent another one. I was like, I barely know the music anyways. And he sat down and gave me like this huge pep talk. And he was like, I was, he was like, I was a broke boy when I first started in orchestra. I borrowed instruments my entire career until I started being a professional player where I bought my first. That's so nice. And he said, so this is the cello, cello that my instructor gave me, so I'm gonna let you use it for the performance. That's so nice. Yeah, and he let me use his cello for the performance. That's fucking great. Yeah, yeah. And that's why French people are awesome. French people are great, man. They're freaking awesome, but yeah, so that was actually the last performance I did for my orchestra career, and then I quit after that. Because I realized that basically everybody who plays music for a living is broke. And I was like, well, man, I can't afford to just be broke my whole life. Forever? Like, forever, forever? Forever, ever, Yeah, ever. yeah. He was like, it costs a lot of people to be in, to play in orchestras. Yeah. Until you make it big. And of course, most people don't. So, I was like, I'm good. I'm not that good. Goddamn good. <laughs> Damn that, bro. But it is a passion, and I will be forcing my kids to play. So you see this, no. you get ready, you no. little bastards, because no. you're going to be in there practicing every night. I don't support this. All right, let's see if I'm awkward. You're not that awkward. Why does he have a picture of Beyonce? Beyonce. You're not that awkward. Be grateful that you've been blessed with the grace and finesse of, a show, of a show pony. I don't think that's a compliment. You gotta flip your hair like you're a pony. You gotta. <laughs> In fact, 
you're pretty damn smooth, and rarely find yourself as the subject of ridicule. That's not true. Just don't let your charm and badassery get to your head. You're human like the rest of us. But this is completely inaccurate, okay? I am constantly being, well, I'm actually not made fun of that much. Can we just talk about the fact that this says, what cheese are you? We'll be heading there next. But for right now, Chavez Slovakia, that was the Are You Awkward quiz. I enjoyed it. Thank you, Skitten, for joining me. If you want to see her video to see if she is awkward or not, that will be posted later on. Thank you guys so much for all of the donations to the GoFundMe. We really appreciate it. We are what? I think we're halfway to our goal now? We are halfway to the goal now, dude. Fucking awesome. Yeah. So, we're really excited about that. Um, make sure you send us an email or a message. Let us know if you're cool with us using the... What are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm celebrating because I'm excited. <laughs> It's okay to use your name I'll in a video. I'll put in music so it makes it a little bit more natural. Oh, okay. Uh, to let us know if it's okay to use your name in a video. If not, everybody who um, commented publicly about their donations, we will be posting those comments up. Um, and yeah, we're just really excited. That's it, man. See you later. We'll see you later, dude. For everybody new, welcome to Chavez, Slovakia. I'll see you guys later.